Hey everyone and welcome. In today's video, I want to explain the basics of what you need to know about a wrapped cryptocurrency token. Now, perhaps you've heard of wrapped Bitcoin or wrapped Ethereum and you're not really sure what this wrapping process is, why someone would want to do it, or how it works. This video is designed to explain all of that in a way that's simple and easy to understand. And one resource I'd like to share with you is this article by Binance Academy, which I think does a fantastic job of explaining it. So if you're more of a... Um, a person that likes to read things as opposed to a video, definitely check out this article. But basically what a wrapped token is, is it is a cryptocurrency token that exists on one blockchain. So let's suppose I have a Bitcoin, a standard Bitcoin, nothing special. If I want to be able to use that value, that Bitcoin, on a different blockchain, it might not be compatible. So a Bitcoin is not compatible with the Ethereum blockchain. So how do I use a Bitcoin on the Ethereum blockchain? The process is by wrapping it. So essentially what I do is I take this Bitcoin and I put it inside a wrapper that is compatible with a different blockchain. So what this does is it allows me to use Bitcoin on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, um, some people might say, well, why don't you just sell your Bitcoin and then purchase ETH and then use ETH or purchase uh, DAI or something like that. The reason that someone would want to wrap a cryptocurrency token instead of simply selling it for an asset on a different blockchain is that it preserves that underlying asset, right? So if I am very, very bullish on Bitcoin, I'll just give you an example. Let's suppose that I am super bullish on Bitcoin and I believe Bitcoin is going to the moon, right? But at the same time, I want to earn a little bit of passive income and let's just suppose I want to lend on compound finance, right? So. If I look through the assets that are available on Compound Finance, I see that traditional Bitcoin is not available because this site only supports Ethereum, right? So what I can do, I don't want to sell my Bitcoin for Ether or basic attention token because then if Bitcoin goes to the moon, I'm missing out on all of that. So what I'll do is I will wrap my Bitcoin into a format that is compliant with um, the Ethereum blockchain with Compound so that I can go and I can lend this wrapped Bitcoin on compound. Now, if the price skyrockets, I can always unwrap that Bitcoin, take it back to the Bitcoin, um, traditional Bitcoin network and sell it for a profit or hold on to it, whatever I want to do. So that's kind of the advantage of wrapping. It allows you to maintain ownership of that underlying asset while also being able to use that asset on a different blockchain. So how does it work? There's a variety of different ways, but the underlying premise is that there's some sort of a custodian, a middleman, if you will, right? So let's suppose I have Bitcoin and I want wrapped Bitcoin. Basically, I will send my Bitcoin to an address. Now, this could be a smart contract. It could be a centralized company, whatever the case may be. And basically, that Bitcoin is frozen, right? That Bitcoin is frozen and a wrapped Bitcoin is minted in its place, right? So we preserve the value is still the same, right? One Bitcoin equals one wrapped Bitcoin. And it's kind of like if you can think of stable coins, right? You know that USDC stable coin for each dollar that you deposit with Circle, the company that's in charge of USDC, they mint one stable coin. It's basically the same thing with a wrapped Bitcoin or wrapped Ether or whatever the case may be. You lock up one Bitcoin, they give you one wrapped Bitcoin. So that's kind of how the process works. Whenever you're ready to unwrap it, it's the reverse. So the wrapped asset comes in, it's basically locked up, and then the original asset is released. So that's how it works. So how can you actually get your hands on wrapped Bitcoin or wrapped Ethereum or whatever the case may be that you're looking for? Obviously, um, there's a variety of different ways and it's important to find what's best for you. But one way specifically is to go to a centralized exchange such as Coinbase Pro. Um, so we're going to go to Coinbase Pro. We're going to obviously log in, create an account, and we're going to go to the trading page and select a market. We just have to type WBTC, BTC, and it will bring up the trading pair. So we can see that we can purchase wrapped Bitcoin with US dollars. That doesn't really help us because remember, we're going from the assumption that we already have traditional Bitcoin. So simply click on wrapped Bitcoin to Bitcoin and it will show you the prices here. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that there's a very high degree of parity between these two assets, right? So a wrapped Bitcoin and a traditional Bitcoin, it's, it's, it's almost the same price. And what I mean by that is 
they're supposed to be pegged to each other, right? So the value of a wrapped Bitcoin should not diverge very far from the value of a traditional Bitcoin, right? If they are supposed to be pegged to each other. Now, let's suppose that you don't want to use Coinbase, you don't want to use a centralized exchange. Another option that I've heard people use is WBTC.cafe. Now, this is a different option that kind of goes through a few different steps, but if you want to use this option, it's available to you as well, a little bit more decentralized. You don't have to go through the KYC process. So simply you go to get WBTC and it's going to come down with a little drop down box and let's suppose I want 0 0.015 wrapped Bitcoin. This is how much wrapped Bitcoin or Bitcoin that I'm depositing. This is the wallet address from my Ethereum wallet. So when I send my Bitcoin, it's automatically going to be converted and sent as a wrapped Bitcoin to my Ethereum address. So um, that would just be simply copying and pasting my address from my MetaMask wallet. And then what it's going to show you is it's going to show you uh, the exchange rate. Let's go ahead and see. So for sending 0 0.015 wrapped Bitcoin, I'm going to get 0 0.01 basically 0 0.014 wrapped Bitcoin. And the reason that that is happening is because there's a little bit of a fee. So first it's going through um, REN Bitcoin, and then from REN it's getting turned into wrapped Bitcoin. So it goes through a couple more steps because it's decentralized, but obviously you don't have to deal with the KYC or anything like that. So overall, um, I know wrapped coins is something that I kind of struggled with when I started out. I was saying, well, why would someone want to wrap it? Um, but basically, the, the premise is wrapping an asset allows you to maintain ownership of the underlying asset, but use that asset on a different chain. So you could take advantage, perhaps, of being able to lend on DeFi, or maybe you're trying to get away from a network with high transaction fees, and you're wrapping to a network with lower transaction fees. So there's a variety of different reasons people might want to do this. Um, I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.